Sie gut. This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. Why should I care? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. Yes, I'm hearing you. S O. Wait for it. S. We must check this. Send me this location. Tech needs you on something. Finally. I am here. What now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Uh, ma'am? Okay, is there a reason we are using an old shit phone? It's a crypto phone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who are you? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on S-I-R-S, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. I'm listening only. No promises. Good. I hit coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. I'm not sure about this. Bagley? Sabine? Opinions? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face. For example, and in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. We have a situation. Contact is not here, and there are signs of a struggle. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. Okay, I will do it. Turn to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. That appears to be our contact. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. <laughs> this is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be.
They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. There's a potential recruit you may want to check out. Pushing your location. The reconstruction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. It looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Albion? Not sirs? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SIRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. All right, Begley. What else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Let's see it. <coughs> I'm not who you think I am. You're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. It's not me. I swear to God. Please, please. This man looks soft. He will break soon. Bagley, send me a location. We have to move quickly.
your friend's just been taken into Albion custody. So long as you don't cock up that badly, you'll be my favorite operative today. Fuck those bastards. Okay, I'm ready. Hey, slow down. I'm from DedSec. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. I don't know for sure I've betrayed them. Hey, I just saved you. No, you've just damned us both. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. No, I think you will explain everything. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. Okay. Mr. Bagley will check the intel. Do not make me regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. He's an inside man, no? Useful. We should check out his information. All right, one second. Bagley, examine his intel and call a meeting. There's too many unknown variables here. We should walk away. I don't agree. He needs us to help him. May I present the third option? Just use him. An SIRS whistleblower, even one you don't trust, could still help us find the arseholes that blew up half of London and framed DedSec for it. You don't have to invite him to your birthday, just use his information. Good call, sweetie. Fine. I'm here. Are you ready to begin? Here's the gist. Malice Intelligence checks out. A rogue faction of SRS officers framed DedSec for the bombings to consolidate power over the government. But now they've noticed that some people are standing up to the new order, and they're blaming you. I believe these are the people you call Zero Day. I don't know their names, but it's safe to assume they have a ringleader. And in my experience overseas, removing the leader... Okay, stop the leader. Stop Zero Day. I get it. But why now? Two weeks ago, a shell company connected with Zero Day's operations imported 40 kilos of Semtex from an old Soviet block depot. 
but it never left London. Which means Zero Day is planning a bombing that will make those earlier bombings look like a bonfire. And I think I know why. As we're all now painfully aware, false flag attacks are a common propaganda tool for despots. Kill a load of people and the rest fall into line behind whoever says they won't let it happen again. In this case, Zero Day. Which means we both want to discover who's pulling Zero Day strings and stop them. We need to get hold of the personnel dossiers of anyone connected with the earlier bombings and their cover-up. Then Malik and I can analyze their common connections and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. And I'll be on the comm to observe. So if Malik's right, Zero Day are some kind of shadowy cabal of spies who blew up half the city to secretly take control of the government. But now they're pissed off that someone's standing up to them, so they're going to do it again. That's awful. I agree. You'd think they'd come up with something besides another bombing. Bit of a double beat, isn't it? Is this our fault? If we did nothing, maybe Zero Day wouldn't be doing this. Cut that victim blaming shit. I'd rather get blown up a thousand times than lie down just so some wannabe tyrants can stamp on my face. Okay, I'm here. You're stealing Sir's personnel dossiers. The organization is strictly compartmentalized, so they aren't stored in one central location. So we spy on spies. I like this. Tell me more. Sirs uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom. Instantly. Fuck. You could be horrified if you want, but it saved thousands of lives. Get access to a Filament terminal and I'll provide you with the search terms. Closest units proceed to a long location. Searching. Could be a false alarm.
So this is Filament. Impressive. I can help you break in, but we're going to leave a trail. Unless, of course, Malik has an idea. There. I persuaded Filament's security to log that Spiderbot's activity as system maintenance. You're a professional liar. How do I know you're not lying now? It's not like the movies. Spies aren't the police. I believe in working with the lesser evils like DedSec to protect society from the greater ones. So why did Zero Day kill all my friends? There are differing schools of thought. News. I have the dossiers. Nice fucking work, bruv. I got the search dossiers you want. Right, so we do a simple CTOS contact analysis and work out who's in charge of Zero Day. I'll have it done before you can say Guantanamo. I'll handle the classified data, thank you very much. It would be so much faster if I worked with you in order to do this. The people in these dossiers are connected, but not necessarily complicit. It will take intelligence expertise to separate the wheat from the chaff. And when I discover something actionable, I will contact you. 
He's disconnected. Pleasant fellow. I have Malik for you. Yes, okay. I'll talk to him. We have to meet. There's been a complication. I can't access the files you stole. Say again? The files are locked, and a moment after we got them, I received this. Hello, Richard. We see you're trying to find us by looking into our associates. That's a good idea. Hope you don't mind if we borrow it. Who was your masked savior, we wonder? I've sent Bagley the coordinates for a meeting. I hope I don't need to explain why this is a priority. No, don't get up. I need a high-ranking SIRS officer's biometrics, eyes and fingers. No way. No more time for spy games. Keep your voice down. The data was encrypted. Well, oh, big deal. Our Bagley can open it. Not faster than I could, and I've tried. It's hopeless in the time we have. Look, if you don't help me, Zero Day wins. Which means we all die. Oh, fuck me. How many fingers? You want whole hand? No. High-res photos will do. The problem is it has to be the acting Home Office liaison. And sirs will burn their credentials if they're attacked. It's protocol. So you'll have to get them the old-fashioned way. Right. Torture. Christ, no. Develop a relationship. Get someone close and uh, take the photos covertly. Okay. This will be fun. This part of the craft can be ugly. Send someone who can handle it. Bangley, can I have your help? I suggest you begin your relationship with the SIRS Home Office liaison the way you would with anyone, by meticulously poring over every detail of their life and hunting them down. Yes, I'm hearing you. The SIRS Home Office liaison is the bridge between the government and its intelligence service. Their office at Downing Street would be a good place to start your relationship. What are we waiting for? SIRS Home Office liaison works here, but I'm not seeing them on any unsecured surveillance. Ah, but their assistants here. Start by hacking them. Yes, I understand. Download complete. Now Scarpa or they'll kill you for sure. Got it. 16 email threads indicate the Home Office liaison is a right lush. She spends most of her time down at the Three Hawker Boys. If you want to seduce, sorry, start a relationship with her, that's as good a place as any. Send me this location. Done. Ready to go? Right. Finally. I can't believe this is happening.
Hello. I believe that you and I matched on invite. Is that correct? If we didn't, I'm going to have their CEO killed. I wouldn't. That was a lie. Ah, careful who you fib to. Someone almost died. I'll keep that in mind for the future. I should say. Shall we move this conversation somewhere a bit more... private? Oh, my. Didn't know you could do that. What other secrets are you hiding? I wouldn't have enough time to list them all. <laughs> so after all that, did you acquire the biometric data? Of course I did. Fingerprints, Retina, isn't even a hair sample for a personal project. Good work. What do we do now? It seems you'll have to maintain the ruse a bit longer. The upload is still going and I have an incoming connection from the liaison. Put her on. Enough crap. Who the hell are you? You working for the Russians? China? Fucking America? This is about the hair, isn't it? Look, I would have asked, but I didn't think you'd say yes. Oh, do shut up. Upload complete. Malik is on the line. I'm sure he'll be very grateful and polite. This will have to do. We can meet at Westminster Abbey to discuss the results. And I wanted to say... You performed somewhat better than anticipated. Was that your attempt at a compliment? He's disconnected. Oh, for fuck's sake. I've marked the meeting location on your map. Don't hurry. Good lad. I'm not paranoid. You've arrived at Westminster Abbey, final resting place of noted cousin fucker King Edward I. Is that relevant, Bagling? It is. I have to walk away. I haven't slept in 76 hours. I, I can't do this. You're just tired. No, I'm afraid. I know who runs Zero Day and I don't think I can beat her. Then don't. Just give me a name. It's not a request. All right. I'm trusting you with this. My analysis indicates that Zero Day is led by the current director of SIRS Counterterrorism, Emma Child. Legend has it she's the reason that Gorbachev survived the coup in 91, but more than that, she's my friend. She mentored me through my first field assignment years ago. Thanks. Hope you said goodbye. Wait. Wait. There's always a margin of error. If you go after Emma and I'm wrong, You'll have her and Zero Day to contend with. Confirm it's her before you do anything. We'll be careful. Be right. Or we'll both be dead. I hate to agree with a career snoop, but Malik's right. We need to tread carefully here. This is the head of SARS fucking counterterrorism we're moving against. Agreed. We need all the facts. We don't move until we investigate Emma Child further. Okay. I can live with that. So how do we find her? Bagley, filter those SIRS dossiers for agents who work directly for Child. We'll hack into their comms, and they'll lead us right to her. Done. Oh, aren't you clever? But we can't just wait around for them to slip up and blab Emma Child's location. We have to make them slip up and call a meeting with her. So we do something big, something old school dead sec. Really scare the shit out of them. Emma Child is the head of SIRS Counter Terror, which coordinates operations with Albion out of the old MI6 building. So if we were to break in and leave a message that we know will get back to her. That's a signed plan. Let's get to it.
That is the old MI6 building, one of the most prominent intelligence organizations in the world. But now, thanks to SIRS taking over, the dark heart of every secret scheme and bloody coup in the whole of Europe. So, no huge difference, really. I don't want to end up at the bottom of the bloody Thames. Bagley, don't scare her. You just have to find the central server room and connect us. We'll do the rest. You've got this. She's going on here. That's the case file server there. Connect badly and we'll take care of it. All right. Quick mission update. And you have to promise not to be mad. I won't. Tell me. Well, since you didn't promise, I can't give you the details. But suffice to say, there's an absolute piss monsoon of Albion goons heading your way. same side. Good job. Now get to safety. We'll contact you when we have an update.
Look at that. Your plan worked. There's more buzz coming from Emma Child's organization than a nest of rowdy wasps. Well, that was awfully fast. Well, I may have sent everyone in Child's inner circle security footage of your little MI6 operation, just to speed things up a bit. Is that safe? No, not really. But then you're a violent insurgent who runs around in a colorful mask punching mercenaries, stealing top secret intelligence and driving through street cafes. Defined safe. Fair enough. So what do we do now? A small group is meeting with Emma Child in a parking garage. They've switched off the CCTV cameras, but if you connect me to the building's CTOS hub, I can switch them back on, because I'm very clever. Fairly obvious what to do then. Reminder, this is the parking garage where Emma Child is meeting with her inner circle. Malik has asked that you confirm she really is in charge of Zero Day before we do anything. So try and hack the camera system to see if we can get a look at that meeting. It's too much of a coincidence. He slips away and our case server gets hit. Richard Malik is behind this. I've got Whitworth assets on standby, Mrs. Child. Malik is dead the moment he surfaces. What do you mean, the moment he surfaces? Are you telling me we have nothing? Yes, ma'am. For lack of a better word, he's vanished. Hasn't been at work, hasn't been at home, hasn't bought anything with a card. Of course he hasn't. He's not a moron. He knows our tools. We can't rely on filament. We have to use our fucking eyes and ears. He may have left London. Perhaps he's hiding out in the country. <laughs> this is why all these excuses smell like horseshit. We do have a supporting theory, Mum. We think Malik's been in contact with DedSec. It could be they're hiding him. He's treating London like enemy territory. He's made contact with the local insurgency and got them working with him. So, here's what we're gonna do. Reallocate all resources to the DedSec file. If we shake that tree long enough, Malik's bound to fall out. Do your fucking jobs. Get out there and kill some terrorists. Call Malik. He's not answering. Oh, forget him then. 
I'm doing this. Shit, you're right. Go. This might be our only chance. Emma Char just opened a secure optic link to the Home Secretary. If you really want to clear your names for the bombings, this may be your chance to gather the evidence. Get close to the car and I can hack in. Plugging you into Emma Child's com. Try to drive casually. This is Director Child coding in. Kilo Alpha Kilo 711. Cord and voice print confirmed. You're on a secure line to the Home Office, Director. Hold on, Mr. Secretary. I seem to have a communications anomaly. Probably nothing, but let's switch channels to be safe. Well, that's annoying. Stay close and I'll see if I can get them back. We're reallocating resources to the DedSec file. Mr. Secretary, I wanted to bring this up directly because of the recent incident with your liaison to the service. Oh. Oh, God. You think that was DedSec? I thought we'd chalk that up to your problem, child. That, uh, what, Malik, was it? Yes. That's the sensitive bit, Mr. Secretary. There's new evidence that suggests Malik may be working with DedSec. For fuck's sake, Emma, this is a disaster. It's under control. It, shit, sorry, Tom, but we have to switch channels again. One moment. Ooh, it seems this conspiracy goes all the way to the top. Or close to it, anyway. Stay nearby, we've almost got it. Just how exactly is any of this under control, Emma? Because one of them is currently hacking into my car's comm. That's where those anomalies are coming from. You sound suspiciously calm about that. This isn't my first day, Tom. I'm not in the car. It's a decoy. But it does have an active beacon that's calling Albion down right on top of them as we speak. I'll have one of them in custody within an hour. That was me disconnecting this time. You had better run. I have Malik for you. I'm going underground. I can't risk direct contact anymore. Wait. Did you not hear what she said? She's trying to kill you. Now you know without doubt. I did hear her. She knows I'm working with you, which means she's closer than I thought. I'm sorry, but we're out of time. Goodbye. What an asshole! Fuck him. We know who's behind Zero Day now. We don't need him. We just have to find her. As it happens, when I was getting intimate with the MI6 server, I came across a list of SIRS safe houses scattered throughout the city. There are quite a few, though. Yes, but we know who her close friends are, yes? So filter the safe houses by the GPS data. See where they've been. Brilliant. Prioritize them by likelihood bags. Let's get this bitch. Hello? Bagley here. How did everything go earlier? Fine. We may have a new member. Next task. You're near an Emma Child's hideout. Poke around to see if you can find a clue. Fine. Leave it to me.
Terribly sorry, everyone, but one of your teammates has been kidnapped. What the fuck? Saz has got to be behind this. That was way too clever for Albion acting on their own. The question's why. Well, they're being tortured for information about Malik, of course. I thought that was obvious when we saw that meeting where Emma Child said, and I'm paraphrasing, kidnap someone and torture them for information about Malik. Fuck. We have to find Malik. Bags, there's got to be some way to get him a signal. Sure, I've marked a location for you. In his eagerness to leave in a huff, Malik failed to encrypt his last message. It was almost too easy to trace it back to his safe house. Get to the point. Malik has a stick so far up his ass it controls his thoughts. By now he'll have noticed his error and moved, but there's no way he isn't monitoring that safe house computer. If we use it to send a message like, return our calls or we tell child everything, I'm sure the stick will compel him to listen. Let's try it. Agreed. Let's do it. I am Malik's safe house is somewhere around here, but it will be well hidden. Maybe have a look for a slightly off-color brick or an inconspicuous lever. Lever does look a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Bugley, can I have your help? Right. It seems Malik's made some upgrades to security. And since he's both a security expert and a paranoid lunatic, I don't know if you can handle this one. I've had enough of this. Well, I can. Haha. <laughs> Did you like that? With the drone? Pretty good, right? That is good work, Bugly. Thank you. Look, if we know anything about Malik, it's that he thinks he's much cleverer than he is. Which means as soon as I start, some drones or something are going to come after me. So just watch my back, all right? Check. Ha! Drone bays. I knew it. Oh, come on, Malik. Make it hard, at least. All that big talk and security drones is all you've got, you hack. Oh, I'm Malik, and I think I can analyze Sir's dossiers faster than Bagley, but my idea of heavy security is automated proxy jumping. Please. All right, you ready? I'm always ready. Lovely jubbly. Need some cover. Deploying bomb drone. Really, Malik? Do you really think I'll be fooled by this thing? Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll work out soon. This will go a lot faster if you keep the drones off me. Let's try this again. Alright, 
If I just flip this bit like that, inject this script over here, and voila! No, no, that did not work at all. Shit. Aha! You just thought I'd get obsessed with the brilliant little details amid the larger structure, didn't you, Manic? That's actually pretty clever, but not cleverer than me. And I'm back. Do try to keep them off me this time. Aha! You just thought I'd get obsessed with the brilliant little details and miss the larger structure, didn't you, Malik? That's actually pretty clever, but not cleverer than me. Messaging coded using the same cyber he used earlier, set to repeat every 15 seconds. Good job, everybody. Now we just have to convince Malik to help us get our friend back. Fuck yes. And thank you. I know this is getting scary, but you're all brave as fuck. I'm proud to call you my friends. Incoming connection from an unknown encrypted source. Well, it's Malik. Let's hear him. You had better have a very good reason for threatening me, or this conversation will be very short. Your friend Emma took one of our operatives. As you know, everybody talks eventually. This time, it will be about you. I see. As it happens, I've been keeping tabs on Emma. But I have a condition. The Semtex is still missing, and if I have any hope of recovering it, I need you to take Emma alive. Okay. Right then. Sirs uses construction sites to interrogate short-term arrests. They're isolated, and it's easy to hide bodies. And my sources tell me Emma just turned up at one. Okay. And? If your operative hasn't turned already, that's probably where she'll have her. Check. The longer your operative is in captivity, the longer Emma has to work on her. Find your friend before they talk and capture Emma. Good luck. <laughs> 